Interesting story. It's all part of today's dish, which is sponsored by Stone Academy. Uh, so we know Brady has a lot of fans, and at least one of them has some pretty deep pockets. So there was this rookie card for uh, Tom Brady up for auction. And baseball cards are big, but I guess football cards are. I didn't know that too. was a thing, right? I didn't either, but uh, someone paid 400000 bucks <laughs> for an autographed. Tom Brady rookie card. It makes it the most expensive football card ever sold. And there were 118 bids, and only 100 copies were produced from the 2000 playoff contenders. I wonder if contenders. he's going to make a profit off that when uh, he sells I, it. Or I don't is it think a collector's so. Collector's item. That's that. I know. It's 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 the the guy who sold it. That's the guy who makes the money. I see. Huh. Right? Tom gives me a thumbs up. He's the, the card yeah. shark over there, I guess. But speaking of money. I didn't know it was so lucrative. I, yeah, I, I have like 300 Derek Jeter cards because I was always you a big go Derek Jeter those. guy. I, I you should. might have a winner in there. If, if anybody wants to buy them, <laughs> call me, call the station. We'll, we'll, we'll hook you up. But speaking of big money, yeah. uh, apparently your friend the Tooth Fairy is, is not accustomed to dishing out big change lately. Is that the deal? Well, here's the deal. The cost for a lost tooth is down 43 cents. Oh. That's right. Researchers say the average payout for a tooth is $3.70. While the first tooth that you lose, you mm. typically get a little bit more on average 5 bucks. Last year, a tooth went for $4.13. Who has the change? I didn't know the Tooth Fairy carries change around. Who does this research? That's the question. <laughs> Who's... <laughs> like, is it, uh, but apparently, Ryan, geography plays a factor into uh, that. Okay. If you're in the West, you get an average of $4.13. A tooth, well, if you live in the South, you're only getting $3.91 uh, from the Tooth Fairy. You know, if you grew up in Cromwell, Connecticut, like I did, Tooth Fairy gave you a dollar. That was it. Well, I actually One did a little bit dollar. of a poll with my friends, with my Tooth Fairy friends. Oh, I know yeah. Some of oh, my yeah, tooth of course. Fairies. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and apparently, there are many out there. you get $10 for the first Ten ticket. Ten bucks for a. I also tooth? heard that you get Lego toys what? under the pillow. Lego toys? And even a $20 bill. No way. Time. So Are you serious? Maybe that's just Fairfield County. Can, you can, never know. Can you tooth fairies come under my pillow tonight? Can you come visit? <laughs> oh, and, and it's up? dusted with glitter. Everyone oh, I had better. asked also Shimmer. mentions their, the tooth fairy. Uh, has glitter. No kidding. Yeah. Times are changing, That's huh? Right. <laughs> so it's, it's, it's a good day to be a tooth fairy, I guess. Someone who's or had a lot of teeth. True, yeah. Uh, somebody who's worn quite a bit of glitter in their career, Janet Jackson. She's actually going to have a residency in Vegas now. Yeah, uh, she's going to be at the Park MGM Hotels Theater there. The show begins May 14th and runs through August. Jackson is playing 15 dates across the summer. Tickets for the residency called Metamorphosis go on sale Saturday. Get in front of your computer, Rye. I'll, I'm, They're going to sell out. I'm already there. I got my iPad. I'm ready. I'm, I'm going to get like eight tickets. I'm, that's what I'm doing all summer long is going to Janet Jackson. But she joins, what, Lady Gaga is there. That's Mariah a tough Carey, ticket. Also. Backstreet Boys. It's, yeah. That's the thing to do now. And they make a lot of money. Cardi B's even doing it out in Vegas. So. Sign me up your for that. Your girl. I, I, I know you're, you're a big fan of that. Um, so, yeah. All right. So a Texas World War II veteran has a simple wish. He'd like lots and lots of birthday cards when he turns 100 next month. We'll see if uh, he can, in fact, reach this. Uh, his name's Joe Cuba, and he told his team at the Senior Living Community that he would like 100 cards for every day or, or for every year that he celebrated a birthday. But as a result of that viral photo that you just saw, he's already gotten 10,000 birthday cards. Oh my goodness. And counting. What's he going to do with all those? Insane. They're, they're from all over the world, and people have been sending him coffee mugs and blankets and plenty of other treats, too. Well, I'll thank every one of them. They did give. That's, that's what counts. Uh, I, I see he's even got some whiskey there. So good, good for, for you, him. Joe. Celebrate. <laughs> Uh, him and his family are going to extend the birthday celebration past March because they're going to go to D.C. and visit the World War II uh, uh, memorial, which he's never been wow, to. Wow, so. you put it out there and people yeah. respond, huh? So, so, so heartwarming. Absolutely. All right.